So now we've reached the dessert portion of our show and Happy for, times. Absolutely. Absolutely. So for a little all-American sweetness, we decided that we do some red, white, and blue, of course. It's summertime, there are berries, there are some wonderful things out there. Um, and these are things that you can serve whether you're in a patriotic mood, whether you are and sending someone off to you know overseas or you're oh, welcoming a home a yeah. service person this is a great way to you know get your all-american rumbling so we're going to start with some strawberries um, I'm just going to show you briefly how you do this you cut them you cut the top off right here so that the stem is still intact and that's just trash you don't need to worry <laughs> about that then you flip so it can I do one of these Totally. Oh, lost it. Score. Um, then you're going to cut it down into four sections, not all the way to the bottom though. So you're going to do that two cuts and then, I hope this doesn't look obscene. We're going to put it in a mini case pastry cup and then we're just going to sort of poke it open, kind of like a tooth as my niece said today, <laughs> so that it's open a tiny bit. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it is. So it's like a little, you see how that uh, little is? molar. Yes. So this is the strawberry base. And then we're going to make some creme fraiche, which is not quite whipped cream. It's more of a French version. Um, and because we will also very French on a red, white, and blue. Oh, they are red, white, and blue. I yes, mean. but a as we know, we've beaten the French several times and <laughs> scared them away a couple of others. Da, da, anyway, da, 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 creme fraiche da, da, da. is um, a quarter of a cup of whipping cream and a quarter of a cup of sour cream. And what I did was I mixed that in advance and I just gave it a little bit of time out in the fresh air to set. You want to give that like an hour or two okay. just right. to do that. And do you just leave it out? Pretty you much, yes. Okay. And once it's set, you see how it's got a good consistency there? You can then throw it in the fridge and keep it there for a couple of days if you want to. Yeah. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to take our creme fraiche and we're going to mix it with, this is an eight ounce package of cream cheese and a quarter of a cup of uh, powdered confectioner's sugar to give it some sweet. Just pour it right in? Yep, go right ahead and we're yeah. going to mix that together. Alrighty. And now is this going to serve as our, this is our, this is actually our creme fraiche that we're making? Yes. What we're going to do is if I were say Dr. David Gould, our childhood dentist, I would just fill that right up as if I were doing a root canal. <laughs> um, so Alexander is going to mix. So for all those anti-dentites out there, they will not like this segment. I shouldn't say that. Dr. David Gould is our current childhood dentist. Our real dentist is. Shalafu. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, all right. So Alexander has mixed that. What we're going to do then is we're going to take a pastry bag. Ah, here now, I got this for no reason. Here in Denim, they have the professional type, the Wilton method with the full-on like <laughs> screw-on star shape. Shall we roll? No. Denim is known for its Some pastry bag. Some of us bags. just use our sandwich bags and cut them with a scissor. Um, however, this is nice. Whoa. So what we're going to do is um, fill that up with the cre with the mixture, creme fraiche, and the. Um, well, this is messy. Well, piping always is. <laughs> um, <laughs> actually, piping. Oh, I didn't even really get that whole thing. Yes. Do, do you want to do the honors? Certainly. Um, I've done an Ariel cake before, so I know how this is done. So basically, do you want to try this yep, one? You're going to open up our little tooth for Georgia, and then I'm going to pipe a good bit of that mixture in there. See, isn't that pretty? That is adorable. Then you take a blueberry, there's your blue, and for the piece de resistance, if you're hanging out with me. Again, you, lots of French tonight. Yeah. Wow. Again, well, I guess red, white, and blue. Um, I don't believe in fruit as dessert, so I've got to throw a little chocolate on it every single time. So I've taken That's a Hershey real. bar and a peeler. And what can be more we're American doing than a Hershey bar, I ask Chocolate you. shavings, that's right. Hershey PA, that's where our heartbeat is. Um, <laughs> it's right about in the middle. And so we're just shaving a little bit onto the middle. If they decided ever to move the um, Liberty Bell, I would vote Hershey PA. Well, you know, the seven wonders of the world, I think we should have seven wonders of America, you know, the Grand Canyon, a couple of other things, but Hershey PA is on my list. So then you're just going to pop a few right on there so that you have some good chocolatey goodness to go along with your fruit, um, which is of course good <laughs> for you, but um, here's the joy. These are adorable and just great little bite-sized desserts. They're easy. 